Hey there guys, I'm Prince Vanguard here and welcome to this next episode of Let's Play The Sims Hit Run. Where we will, where in this bonus episode we will be tackling the bonus game. Uh, honestly my least favorite part of this game because it is uh, not good. You can see we jumped into the open wheel race car there, that's what it's modeled after. And that is itself is modeled after a slot car. And as you might figure, this mode is sort of based off of slot car racing. Here we can choose as uh, any of the five characters we played as, and each of these bonus tracks, in case you're wondering, each of them is unlocked by collecting all of the collector cards in each of their respective levels, so this is level one, level two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you can choose how many laps you want to do, you can do anywhere from one to five. We're going to stick with three, and uh, yeah, we choose our character, I'm going to start with Homer on this one. And you can notice that... Um, we can choose any car we want. Just about any car that we unlocked in the game we can race here. And they sort of consolidate all their stats into a single rating of uh, 1 to 4 star. With 4 being the chase sedan and the hearse. Now I tried doing this with the... Actually this is my second attempt recording this. Because 1, I was not having much luck last episode or last attempt. And second, I forgot to sync up the audio at the beginning. So that could be a problem. So I just opted to restart, and instead I'll be, um, I'll just start with one of these vehicles. I'll try and start with the hearse, see if that changes anything. Now there's something different about this mode, and you'll see it in just a second. And is the reason why I don't like this mode. Because it's not just a bonus race. It's a different style of race. It's a top-down race. So, instead of having the camera behind your car, this is what you do. This, you have to race with the top down like this, figure out where uh, your car is, and driving, driving around like this. And try to avoid hitting stuff, because uh, all the normal racing physics do apply, your car can still get destroyed. It'll immediately respond, but your car still does take damage, as you can, as you can see, I am smoking. And, uh... The other cars they they don't exactly play the nicest and it, I sort of feel like it's another case of uh, the AI just automatically gets a boost because it's the AI yeah you see the car it immediately responds you're still in it you don't have to get out or anything but I feel like the AI should not be doing well at this level but it's doing pretty well to keep up with the hearse of course I'm not doing exactly well either but I won the race yay Somehow that went my way. Oh, I see now. So, according to... It has a race series that counts each of the races that you do until, like, you back out of the thing. Which I don't quite like, because it makes me feel bad. But, um... Uh, sorry, you heard me adjusting my chair there. But, like, it awarded me four points right there for winning. Uh, I will not race again. We'll be going to level 2 this time. I'll be playing as Bart, and we'll stick with the hearse. Now, this is one that gave me trouble, and you might have noticed that the actual map on last episode was level 1, and if you can figure, this one... Well, I shouldn't be acting like that, because it'll take a second to spawn in. This one will be based on level 2. Because you can see, it's a lot of the geography is based on the train yard. Also, a lot of it's based off of... Uh, the monorail. Oh no, it's mainly the train yard. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. That's one problem with this thing. You can't uh, cheat by just doing a small loop around there. You do have to come around this turn right here. And, uh... <sighs> this is one of the problems I have with it. It's so easy to get turned around in here. Even though it wouldn't happen in the main game for some reason, your car still gets turned around super easy here. And, uh, I don't like it all that much, if I can be frank with you. And, uh, yeah, I had to slow down right there, because otherwise I would have gotten wrecked. And I still got wrecked, because I'm not good at this. And there's a little red thing that respawns there. I don't know what it, it's for. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, because it's in some of the other maps, too. And, uh, I didn't enjoy it. Like, at all. And, uh, we just lost this one, because number two's about to win. I couldn't cut across there, because there were people coming the other way. Seems familiar, like the circuit race in level two. Or level 3, rather. And we have a time limit to finish. 
which means I came in last place. Race again, I'll try. Continue along. Yeah, so even with the best vehicle, you can still lose pretty handily. You can see a lot of reasons why I don't like this. Of course, I one problem is I keep on slamming into walls. That's a problem. These guys can magically make their turns no problem. And then they can accelerate faster than any car in the game. Because even if you're driving the open wheel race car, which has the best acceleration in the game, they can still do it before you. Because who cares about the rules in this game? Obviously, my opinion on uh, this mode is not very high. I... Mm, I had a rough time last episode, and I didn't enjoy playing it, I'll admit. Right now, I need to collect this wrench. Now, of course, it's difficult for you to collect stuff, but the en but the enemies, they can collect wrenches uh, from mile away. I legit, in level 3 of the last level, I saw, of the last recording attempt, I saw them collect a wrench without probably a car's length between them, just to show how much it's weighted in favor of the AI. And speaking of the AI, you don't necessarily have to race against the AI. Okay. Now, it's saying that Homer's in first because of uh, the point calculation, but screw that. I won that race, so uh, I'm continuing on to level 3. I don't care if I win the series. Go with Lisa and the hearse again. And this is the one that I had to quit on last time because it was uh, making me angry. Because it's really dumb. Why should the hearse ever lose to a tractor in a race? I don't know, but they made it happen last time because they weighed the AI. And sometimes it's just straight up unbalanced. Like, we're racing against a level 7 vehicle right here for no discernible reason. And, uh... Yeah. I was going to say, of course, the Bobmobile is also in here. That's a level 3 vehicle in and of itself, and uh, I missed the jump there. Unfortunately, it doesn't just like automatically game over you, but I can already tell we're so far behind, I'm just going to lose this. Unfortunately, you can't restart. You have to finish the race or just quit the game entirely, which isn't much fun. <sighs> There's something about the physics that they changed here, and I just do not like it. I do not like it. It feels weird. I hate it. I absolutely despise it even. This is the one part of the game where I can actively say I am not having fun. I do not enjoy these races at all. Cause look, level three car level car three just won. I could barely do anything. I'm not even going to get to finish this race. Cause some <sighs> there is something about the physics that just makes me all sorts of angry about this. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Alright, I think that counted as me getting first place. I'm not quite sure. I mean, it wouldn't let me drive. Okay, so yeah, it let me come in first. <sighs> Race again? No, thank you. So now we go on a Marge, because God forbid we have to do more of these. <laughs> Now what's this hellhole going to be? At least it's a straight line this time, but there's a lot of turns, so that's a problem. The farm and the power plant area. Okay, there was a jump there that I didn't even realize, and that messed me up. And of course, uh, the pink clouds, I mean, the green clouds don't even let you know where the road is. <sighs> there are so many things I hate about this mode. There are all so many things I hate about this mode. 
not the least among them, the wonky controls. I'm half considering just like doing a race on one of these and no matter what I get, just rolling with it because I, I'm about to, I'm about to lose my mind, honestly. It's only been 15 minutes and I've already almost lost my mind. Cause like, look at that, look, look at that. I don't want to curse, but oh my God. Honestly, some of this is on me is just due to my bad racing style, my the fact that I don't grasp th the controls entirely, and also the fact that I mashed down acceleration way too hard. I got better about that through the series, but apparently my old habit still lives strong here. Are you blind? Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? What did I just find out? Is there an alternate camera mode? Oh my gosh. God, you're not obviously not supposed to use it, but oh my god. That is a freaking game changer. And in case you're wondering, you do that by pressing on the D-pad. So I'm gonna try that again. We're gonna see how awful it works at this. Because I feel like if I can control it like a normal race camera I'd be better at it at it okay maybe a little but we'll see I'm, I mean the caveat is I'm not familiar with these maps but I might still do, of course I'm still doing pretty uh, awful especially when it's a little too close for comfort but hey also there is definitely something off about this What even is that? Is that like a can of duff or something? I can't tell. I mean, I'm obviously going to lose this race, but I don't care at this point. I don't care too much at this point. I'm just... I'm just ecstatic that I don't have to deal with that stupid race anymore. What is this? Wait. That looks like extra fuel or something. What does it mean by fuel then? The Z button. The Z button. Your horn, it gives you extra... F a boost of speed. Not like that'd be all too helpful. But oh my gosh. I just realized that. I wouldn't know because it was never explained. Like, there's nothing in the manual that talks about this except for it's just like, Hey, it's a bonus thing. Collect bonus cards to do it. And it doesn't tell you anything else about it. There's no on-screen instructions or anything. It's just... Complete guesswork, as far as I'm concerned. Come down here. Should I try and use it here? I feel like that's a bad idea. Alright. Continue over here. That might explain how these stupid cars are able to get a boost right off the bat. Of course, uh, no... Guy in number one is still having a jolly old time with, uh... Without it. Oh, I got that ahead of him. Of course, the problem is uh, the guy in first... The guy in first can rain you off the road, even though you... I think you have the heavier vehicle, because why not? Why not have that happen? Of course, the problem is the guy in first uh, automatically gets first crack at him. So that's the problem. But hey, now I have something to do. Oh, is that what the red is? Is that indicating, like, your boost thing? It is. The red indicates that you have a boost. I thought it was, like, indicating, hey, you're player one, but no, it's, it's to say you have boost. That makes a bit more sense. I wish it was more obvious, but, hey. What you gonna do? Okay, I won. Oh my gosh. Can't say I'm enjoying this too much, but that makes it more manageable. That makes it better no I am not racing again you can bet my butt on that not there at least so what's this map going to be like all sorts of twists and turns because it's level 
It's map number two. So it's probably going to be the highway if I had to guess. <laughs> We're racing the monorail. Watch it win. Watch it win because, and it is. It is. It's actually winning. I don't know which way we're supposed to go because <laughs> screw that screw that this is just going to be one complicated mess the monorail is when Jesus Christ I ran into I got stuck on an invisible wall cuz oh god all right so like half the map is used we're going to quit Alright, I think I found the rhythm to do this on. You want to make... Never mind. Just screw that. And uh, don't get stuck on the corner up here. The invisible corner. Alright, the nitro is gone. That's fun. That means uh, I'm going to lose somehow. Because why would I ever uh, succeed at anything in life, really? There we go. Just come over here. And uh, the reason I was saying stuff was because um, I thought the rhythm was to grab the nitro and then wait for that straightaway right at the end. Don't use it till then. Of course, if you get stuck on an invisible wall and crash or something, then you can use it there to get after you get unstuck to get your acceleration back. But you can't reliably do that because someone on the way through might pick it up again just because. And no, I'm not going to race again. I know you're saying the hearse a lot, but I don't care at this point. I just want to win. So back to Bart. Thank God, only two more. Thank God I realized that trick. That makes things a, a bit simpler. I just wish, you know, the game told you something about that because, um, you know, the AI knows how to do it. So, you know, that's why I thought the AI was cheating before. Turns out they're just using the boost, but I still maintain that the game should have told you at some point what exactly that heck you're doing oh, please be a dream. everyone be quiet oh I got that somehow okay that's fun gotcha No, 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 this is mine, and of course I uh, got stuck head first on a wall. They got out just fine, but me, no, 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 can't have me win. <sighs> that was my fault. I should have known exactly what was going to happen there. This Again, my fault. I hear you clicking GameCube. At this point, I don't care. I have the recording. I don't think I get a bonus for winning these anyways. It's just pride points. And, uh, I got third. I don't care. What I care about is being done with this crap. I still maintain that this isn't a good mode. I still don't find it all that fun. Especially since the regular... Especially since the regular camera is crap. You have to switch to this in, every, in order to be able to, you know, control like you're used to from playing the past, I don't know, 20 hours of the game. And it doesn't reset once you redo the level. It's, uh... It's a uh, manual, though. Oh, of course you would keep me from doing that! Screw you! Screw you! <sighs> the point is, you have to manually uh, set, set the camera that way at the beginning of every race. Which means you've got to have your hand off of uh, the steering button for the first few seconds... For the first second or so of every race. Again, this isn't fun, and you heard my phone there, that's what that was. Oh my gosh, and we all start with the boost. I got it, I think. Oh, of course they cleared it just fine, but I can't clear worth crap. Just come up here, grab this, go flying. That is a nice boost if you can land it just right. Want to swing around here. Don't want to get stalled for too long, because otherwise then they'll catch up to you. Is this lap one or two? 
Oh no, this is my last lap. That white flag indicates last lap. And I'm just going to continue along. Not use it right there. And uh, still grab this anyways, just to screw them out of it. And come down here. And... Uh, there we go. Every now and then you'll just have a very good race where it feels pretty simple. So that's A+. Plus. I do not want to race again. And finally, Homer. God knows how hard this course is going to be. I'm excited to be done with this, honestly. It's not as mind-bendingly frustrating now that I know I can change the camera and get a boost. So sorry for my rage earlier. I still feel it was justified because the game doesn't tell you about either of those, but hey. Also, it just spawned me in the wall because, you know, screw that. And uh, it pushed me around because why not? Spider don't get my face. And again, I was pressing right, but it sent me over to the left. What are we even doing? What is this? Oh my gosh, I hate this race. I hate this race. I hate this mode. I hate this mode. I hate everything about this mode. I thought I heard myself getting a wrench. Then what is this? What What is this smoke? And also, of course, he was speed past me. After all, he's uh, just a measly level 3 car racing past... Getting real excited to move on from this. I'm excited for the proper bonus episode stuff, like the fun stuff. Because that's the next episode. Press down. Oh, oh, I see. Even though I was trying to turn, I couldn't. Because why would I be able to turn right there? That would require me doing fun stuff. Cross. Alright, come on. I'm in front right now, but that's not going to last all of two seconds. Especially not if they clip me cutting through there. That's bad race design, honestly, having them cut across the same point going different ways. That just screw. That's inevitably going to screw someone over. And it's just not fair that way. I mean, it may be fair, but it's not fun, because it could happen to any of the racers, honestly. Like that! Like that. Like that. That's what could happen. That's what does happen. And, uh... I mean, the spikes came up. Of course they would. Don't clip me. Don't. 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 I did it. Yes. Yes. Alright, and I ended up winning, uh, still ended up winning all the races at anyone. And you don't get any rewards for that. Change track direction, what? You can do it counterclockwise. I'm not doing that. I don't know if I'm in... Sorry, I had a cough there. I'm not sure if I mentioned it at any point during those races, uh... But you can actually play with other players there if for some reason that's what you want to do with your time. You can. And you might notice that on... The, I might have mentioned this before. I can't tell if it was in this recording or the failed one. But on the back of the box art, the game says it can be played up to four players. And that's a lie. In this part... No. This is single player. This part. That bonus uh, game content, that's the only uh, multiplayer part that you can do. And I'm not going to bother with that because I don't want to subject anyone to that. Because I care about people. But what I want to do is I want to go to level 3. Because if you might remember, we had a certain reward waiting for us when we collected all the collector cards in the whole game. And sure enough, 
We've collected all the collector cards in the game. Right in here. Over here. A complete set. Ooh, I think I just formatted my pants. I don't want to know what that means. Talk to the, to the squeaky voice teen at the Aztec Theater. What you doing out there, Willy? Where do you think you're going? All right. Anyway, we're going to hop into our car over here and drive to the movie theater. Get some jamming music on the way. Because I, you might be able, if you remember, it was a movie ticket or something like that to an Itchy and Scratchy movie. And we actually have to go to the theater. So we'll come. We're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. I don't care, Nelson. But we just come right down here. Don't run over the team. And you. It should, because you're going to the movie. That's it. Was it worth collecting all those collector cards? You decide. You can watch it again if you so desire. Just hop right back in and it'll be doing that again. 500 yard gash, that's what it was. I thought it said cash before. But no, it's gash because he died, as is typical. I don't quite find it all that humorous, but maybe like that's the point. I'm not sure. I still think it's cool that they hid something like that in the game for someone who bothered to collect all the collector cards, even if it's like the content itself isn't that enjoyable, it's still nice to know that there is a, a reward for it, even if it's completely cosmetic. It's like how uh, your reward for 100%ing Super Mario 64 is like lives, infinite lives that you're never going to use, a sparkle behind your jump, and um, a different Xbox when you defeat Bowser. That's all. But it's nice to know that your efforts, no matter how minuscule, no matter how minuscule the reward is, there is some reward. So yeah, that's all uh, for the regular content in the game. Next episode, I'm going to be showing off uh, some secrets and uh, some little tips that I that I would give to you just in the game that I didn't already slide in within an actual episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys then.